Hello and welcome to another video from Fudge Learn on the topic of Oracle eBusiness Suite and Release 12.2. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the key human capital management changes from Release 12.2 onwards, and I'll specifically be focusing on the features that are available in the mobile app for Android or Apple phones. So let's take a look at some of the general changes that are available for HCM from release 12.2. And as you can see, there's quite a selection of them. And what Oracle have done is they've tried to focus on features that are enhancing the user experience and those that will improve employee and manager productivity. So, for example, we've got things like for succession planning, there's now a configurable talent matrix that's available. And for time and labour, we've got things like attachments that can now be used in time cards and a calendar view of time cards that's available. Today, I want to talk to you about the app that Oracle have developed and its availability for HR self-service and payroll on both Android and Apple phones. Now the app was originally released to work with Oracle e Business Suite versions 12.1.3 or 12.2.3 and in a previous video I've talked about how the app can be used to manage requisition approvals for example. So if that's of interest to you then check that video out. The app's available for self-service HR from Oracle Business Suite version 12.2.5 and there's no extra charge for the app or the technology if you're already using a licensed version of self-service HR. There's no additional technology needed, you just need to make sure that you apply the relevant patches and then install the app on your phone and the app can then be used to view a wide range of information and I'll talk about that next. So the app's going to be useful for employees, particularly those that work remotely, say engineers that are out in the field or staff that, for example, work in a warehouse and don't get regular access to a desktop computer. They'll be able to use the app to view their employee information and make changes to it if they need to, view their absent information and submit a request for holiday, for example. Also through the app, employees can view their payslips and P60s. The app can be used by managers to do things like search for other people within the organisation, they can also view the information of their team members and review employee absence requests as well. Administrators are able to check out how the app is being used. So they can look at which users are using the app and what kind of devices they've got. So let's now take a look at the mobile app in action. The login details are the same as if you're logging into Oracle e Business Suite on your desktop. And we're logging in as an individual who is the vice president of the organisation. And the first page we're presented with is our personal details. The pencil icon in the top right will allow us to edit our personal information if we want to. The next section down provides details of who our direct manager is. And then below that we've got details showing that we've got four direct reports and we've also got an approval that's pending. Now let's go back to the main menu and check out the information about those four direct reports. So we just click on the bars at the top left and select my team. So 
So we're presented with the information about those four direct reports. We can drill down and view further details about those. And you can see that that individual has got two direct reports, Linda Drew and Martin Steele. OK, so let's take a look in a bit more detail at this individual's work history. So Smith Cranford's work history and on here you're presented with his employment history. So you can see that he's had three roles at this organisation starting from the year 2000. And you can see a breakdown of the different grades that he's had and also the job titles. So now we're taking a look at the salary information that he's had historically. So let's imagine that we want to make a change to Smith Cranford's salary details. So to do that from his personal information page in the top right hand corner you'll see there's an icon of two people. So if we tap or click on that icon, it takes us into another page where we can make changes. So from this page, we can manage the specific details in respect of this individual. So we're going to make a change that's going to be effective from the final approval date and we're going to amend this individual's grade so from the pick list, I've chosen a new grade for him. So I've selected that grade and I'm just confirming the details in respect of that by adding some comments. I then tap or click on save and I get a prompt. Do I want to continue? Yeah, I want to save that and then that change goes for approval and once that's approved it will then come into effect for that individual to action or review pending approvals and it's simply a case of going back to the home page and selecting pending approval. From here I can review the approvals that I need to action. So I've got four that I need to action. From here I can tap or click on either of those items to get more information and then complete my approval action. Let me just switch back to the home page of the app and I can show you how you can change between responsibilities so if you tap or click on settings then in the next screen tap or click on res your responsibility and I'm going to select employee self-service and then go back to the home page and you'll notice from this home page now I've got the option which has appeared up above and that's pay slips and also absences. So from here, this is where I can review my pay slips and P60s and then make an absence request if I wish to do so. So in summary, I think there are some great benefits to using the mobile apps for human capital management. I can see that they can help to reduce the admin overhead for HR teams so people can make their absence requests using the app, view their pay slips and also their P60s. This can help empower employees and managers so they can get on and answer any questions they've got themselves rather than contacting the HR team. I think there's a major benefit to using the app if you're someone who works remotely, so you're a, a remote service engineer, for example, or if you work in a warehouse and you don't get regular access to a desktop computer. 
the app provides that key information. So if you wanted to check your payslip or review your P60, then that information is there for you. So that's really useful, I think. That's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions about release 12.2 changes or need any more information, then do get in touch with us via our website. And we also have our YouTube channel where we will be publishing further videos. So don't forget to click on subscribe and on the bell in YouTube and you'll receive further updates when we make those available.